It's week 10 of the National Football League. And featured this week is Darren Waller, who's your new single season record holder and first 2,000 yard receiver in league history. It's the Giants and the Cowboys just ahead on EA Sports. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team in replay. So now here are the Giants backed up to start their first drive. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. And the guys on the other side of the ball know they'll have to be on their toes. And it's obviously not just the passing, but the running element that makes him dangerous. He ran for over 100 yards in that game last week. So keeping him contained will be a big emphasis for this defense. He'll buy some time right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. These two teams met at MetLife Stadium earlier this year with the Giants winning that one. So they are gunning for the sweep here in Dallas. Second and ten. And now we're going to get a delay of game. And that's going to back him up halfway. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up. But once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. They'll roll him out right. He's got a man complete. Now inside the 25, Sterling Shepard. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Sterling Shepard, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Giants will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen. And it's also... Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And he'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. Off play action. Barber looking for Shepard deep. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore, and a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. All of a sudden, we've got a new ball game back to level after that interception that he threw on the previous drive led to a touchdown. So we'll see if they can get things right here, first and 10.
play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. Play fake here on first down. Flush to his right. Looking for Shepard deep. And got his man complete. A big play there for the Giants. And even 60 yards. Seven seven. Our score after one. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Off the play fake. Barber dancing to his left. Giant touchdown. Taking it in from the 20. And the Giants have taken the lead. And this is a balancing act for a head coach with a rookie quarterback. You've got to walk a line with it. You don't want him getting happy feet, but you also don't want to rein in what worked for him in college. And here, he pulls it down, takes it himself, and takes it into the end zone. He got the job done on the ground on their previous drive with the touchdown run, and he'll start anew with a first down. right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Austin. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. They go play action here on first down. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well. And by association, a bright future for the franchise too. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's thrown for two touchdowns and run for another already in this first half as his guys begin first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Barber. And he's caught downfield. It's Waller. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A very solid gain of 27. And that's a nice throw right there. And I'll tell you what I've seen in recent times and actually watched a presentation in the offseason. 
from a college offensive coordinator showed about 10 different drills that he runs with his quarterbacks to show them how to get out of the pocket, how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. All right, Charles, you know, we've spoken about this offense plenty, how great they've been all year. 9-0 now, into the back half of the season. Super Bowl favorites, without a doubt. I think everyone agrees on that. What do you think is the thing that most stands between them and a perfect season? I think it's themselves. I think it's their team, how they approach things, how they conduct themselves during the week, practicing, getting ready, and then going out and playing. You can't take your foot off the gas pedal at this stage. It doesn't matter if it's a weak team you're playing or not. Look, when I talk with one of the best golfers of all time, he told me he never played against the field. He just played against himself and his own standard. Flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Off play action. Barber eluding the pressure. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Giants take a three-touchdown lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He's already accounted for four touchdowns in this first half. Three in the air, one on the ground as his guys start with a first down. Off the play fake. Barber rolling to his left. And this will be caught. It's Isaiah Hodgins. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. On first down, Barber sliding out of the pocket. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. And cue the applause, and there it is for him, the mark he's been aiming for all season long. 1,000 yards, just the third quarterback to reach that milestone, joining Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. That's a season's worth of work and a huge commitment to get him the touches that he needed to make that happen. Congratulations. Accepted. Still first down. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Off play action. Barber escaping the pressure right. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Darren Waller, 58 yards. And the Giants continue to pull away here in this first half. 
Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He's been unstoppable in this first half. Four touchdown passes on the ledger already. Closing in on the all-time record in the first half, by the way, which is six touchdown passes as this drive starts first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Barber flushed out right. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ball game. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Rolling to his right. Looking for Shepard deep. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you could toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. So now the Giants set to take over on offense. They are working on that very impressive nine-game win streak, looking to get it to 10 as they've got the lead here, first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Barber. Got a man. It's Darren Waller. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A good pick up there. 26 yards. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Delay of game, off. Well, just a little too lackadaisical, Charles, and they didn't get up and snap the ball in time. Delay of game. Yeah, and I'm not sure if he understood where the clock was located in different stadiums. It's in different places. You have to check that in pregame and make sure you're aware so you don't run into penalties like these. Buying time to his left. Delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. It's another first down on a big gainer there, 33 yards. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. He'll buy some time right. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? 
So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. On the move to his left, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. He continues to show at this level that he can not only pass for touchdowns, he can run for touchdowns. Not the first time we've seen this because this young guy, he really makes it happen. So what that tells me is the book on him has to change. You've got to now plan for those legs as well as him throwing. The New York set to take the field. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Everything's been going right here in this one. This offense, they've been in complete control from the outset. And here's another big play. These kind of routes have been open all game long, and they continue to take advantage. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Looking to throw. Barber flush to his right. There's a nice move, and he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. Partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. Part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Illegal touching. Offense. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. You gotta go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. Forced out to his left. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. They've already been on record as saying, hey, if our rookie quarterback's going to tuck it and run on a scramble, we kind of hold our breath. Well, that was a maybe no, 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 yes, because he's <laughs> able to get into the end zone. Are you saying he's got to learn where the line is about whether you keep your eyes downfield and try and find a receiver or you tuck it and go? And I think he's there's going to be some... The possession switching back to the New York Giants. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Steps away to his left. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. Now, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. 
The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Off the play fake. Barber, and he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Micah Parsons in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Touchdown, Giants! Darren Waller, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Giants add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. Here we go, here we go. Following the fumble recovery, Barber eluding the pressure right. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. He got 29 yards that time. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Back to throw. Barber escaping the pressure right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Giants are going to be moving to 10-0 and as they add on to this big lead. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it, let's go. And boy, did that work out well. And New York set to take the field. And they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. Throwing to start the drive. Barber. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 35. And even with the game seemingly in hand, they're continuing to fire away, pressing the ball down the field. Listen, it's worked all day. No reason to go away from it now. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, fall. He's got a man complete. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, this has been another impressive display by this undefeated team, Charles, and it looks like they're going to stay that way after this one. Yeah, one of the league's best offenses, they stayed on brand in this contest because they continue to look good at what they do. Just added a late touchdown. Now they're really hammering home just how good they've been all year long, letting the rest of the league take notice. New York ready to go again offensively. 
Well, CD, you and I do a lot of games together, but it is pretty rare that we do a game of this margin. I mean, this has just been total domination from start until now, and I don't think they're going to take their foot off the gas at this point. Do you think that on the sideline, some jokester said to one of his teammates, maybe a few of them, it got his man complete. Now he's loose again, and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen, and so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. And New York set to take the field. And it's all but certain that this win streak is going to extend another week. Just another tremendous performance in this one. That one looks like he'll throw here. Flush to his right. This is caught inside the 15. And they move this all the way down to the 9. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a